Today's video is going to be about the CZ IPC tester. That's S E E S I I. IPC tester. On my job, it is absolutely imperative if you have a camera in a parking lot or a camera in a grocery store that is not working that to save a whole lot of time it is better just to go up to the camera unplug the camera and plug it into this tester and see if you get a video off the camera so you can eliminate the camera as quickly as possible so that you can get out of the way of the people during the testing that is absolutely imperative although I'm not on a site to show you how this works it doesn't really matter because I have the camera that would be at the site now there are three camera three types of cameras that this device can test one is a PoE camera which means the power is fed to the camera from the source that the uh, network cable is plugged into further known as a PoE injector it sends the power through the network cable to the camera the next one is a non PoE network camera which is what we will be fooling with on this video and the last one is an analog camera which I will have in another video this video today only concerns the non PoE camera and I will show you how to get that camera to show up on this device because I have found through watching many YouTube videos on this camera or on this uh, device that two of them do it without saying a word and it's like slow down and do that again well I'm not going to have you wish that you understood how this worked by the time I was done you will know how it works <clears throat> without question and it's real easy first thing to do is obviously bring it back up and there it is second thing to do is over here you will see three ports the one on the far left feeds <coughs> the camera The one on the far left feeds the camera. This is our camera in question. This camera is a non-PoE type camera, which is the reason for the extra plug, the power plug to the camera. Plug the camera in. like so you'll notice it's one length of cable all the way to the box this camera <clears throat> and this cable here comes with this unit the only thing I had to supply was this straight through or patch cable that was it this came with the device if you take this and on the top of the device ensuring that the yellow one is the one that you actually plug in plug it into the device take the other end of it and plug it into the camera You'll notice down here on the bottom, 
it is showing that this camera is actually powered up now. And the reason why I say it like that is because if I were to unplug it from the device, it all went away. So I plug the camera back in, and all I'm doing is unplugging the power cable. I can actually hear the camera click. And there you are. LAN 1, 100% output. It's downloading pictures. To the unit. So, I click on the IP camera test. Click on the IPC Pro test, or IPC Test Pro, excuse me, and you have the same thing showing right there. Not only do you have the same thing showing right there, there is your picture. And somebody's going to say, well, that's a lot of information for the picture, but that's a lousy picture. Okay. Click on the picture itself. No. Oh. Click Next on the picture itself. And it'll bring a bigger screen. Now, disregard this uh, user password error. Log out. Refresh. And there you are. You now have, with just this and this, on the top of a lift, ladder, or whatever, as your source for power for that camera. And we're playing as if this camera were coming, or were, were, was one attached to the building. There's your proof. Camera is on and showing. That is it. Thank you for watching.